Nataka kuuliza rafiki yangu sana English service anaitwa Baba Steve. I think it is your first time kwa English. Kanini kwa wana with God. Salimia wote hivi. Eh. Baba Steve ungesimama ndio watu wanaweza fikiri uko mfupi. Yeah, good. Yes, asante. God bless you. Thank you so much. Um, any other person by this the first time kuja kwa wana with God? Welcome back again. Ninaona kwamba Mungu ametusaidia. The other problem that I have in this parish. Wale walikuwa last Tuesday, labda pengine sio walikuwa leo so they keep on alternating. And same applies on Sunday. Na Sunday tunakuwa na that challenge. Ya kwamba watu wale wanakuja hii Sunday sio wale watakuja next Sunday. So at the end of the day you find yourself you are moving this way. So but uh can I get not very Um, but God is so faithful. Mungu ana something funny. Uh, Mungu anatufanyia mambo makubwa. Mungu anatuonekania na Sunday tulipata hope. Nikaanambia pastor team ya kwamba Sunday kuna a huge hope. A cloud of hope imekuja. For the first time tangu makanisa sifunguliwe kwa season ambayo makanisa zilikuwa zimefungwa on Sunday tulipata hope. Na wale walikuwa church on Sunday waliona ya kwamba kuna sasa that warmth ambayo inaendelea kuingia kwa makanisa. Mekuwa niki guide a parish yangu nikiwaambia kwamba atutakuwa ignorant, tuta sanitize, tutapimwa temperature, tuta keep distance. But hii kitu inaitwa coronavirus it is spiritual connected. Because kijaribu kuangalia ime fight na kanisa. Ime fight na kanisa. It is so heartbreaking kuona ya kwamba kuna watu ambao wako na sababu ya kutokuja church lakini kwa social gathering wako katikati ya social gatherings. Right? So it is so heartbreaking and it is so difficult to me kama mchungaji. And then the other thing ni, ni kona journal because nimekuwa ni kijana wakati ambapo niko down. Nimenotoka kwamba kuna watu wanachukia ukiwaambia wakuja kwa kanisa na ni watu ambao wako very committed. Watu wana change attitude. So through that God has been speaking to my heart kuweza kujua kwamba this is not a physical battle. This is a spiritual battle. Amen. Na kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya the PKs. God bless you so much kwa sababu ya ku worship with your heart. And same applies na Robin. Mungu awabariki sana pamoja na my daughter anaendelea ku grow. You are very wise kwa sababu ukianza kuandamana na wao uta uta, uta thrive vizuri. So, nataka ku, kuguzia kidogo juu ya seeking God in time of trouble. Seeking God in time of trouble. Na hiyo 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 text imeweza kutuelezea wakati ambapo kulikuwa na huge challenges, difficulties. Watu wa Israel uh, sitakuwa na wakati wa ku unpack the whole text because it is very deep. Because inaguzia juu ya mfalme wa wa, 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 wa Israel na mfalme wa Juda. But also it's a very long story. It's a very long narrative. But go to the straight point. Tunakuta ya kwamba sasa kulikuwa na a lot of trouble because Ahab alikuwa a very evil king. Ahab alikuwa a very evil king. Na unajua mtu evil, hakuna kitu ambaye haizi fanya. Na evil, mtu evil haogobi mungu. Na so kwa hivyo mtu evil anakuaga agent. Most of the times Kenya tuna fight kwa this uh, ministry ka evil. Naweza kuwa mtu ambaye uko so much committed unapenda ya kanisa yako unataithi unafanya but I mean I don't know how to describe I'm too evil. 
But kwa ina inatusaidia tuweze kujua mtu evil anakaje so kukakuwa na that negotiation between the king of Israel na Jehoshaphat king of Judah na mnajua kwamba Jehoshaphat alikuwa one of the people ambaye alikuwa anajulikana kwa kumpenda Mungu na dedication kwa kumtumikia Mungu But Ahab alikuwa anajijua in his heart ya kwamba he is not that kind of a person ambaye alikuwa na please Mungu he was that kind of a person ambaye anajua njia zake azikuwa zinafaa mbele za macho za Mungu I don't know how it happened ya kwamba then uh, Jehoshaphat akajikuta pamoja na mtu ambaye anaitwa Ahab wakiwa pahali ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa Ramoth Gilead na kwa hivyo and then kukakuwa na shida tunaambiwa in verse 29 then uh, the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat I will enter into the battle in this case Yes vita imeinuka na ikaanza sasa so kukakuwa na battle kukakuwa na vita na actually wale ambao walikuwa wanapigana walikuwa wanapigana na ufalme wa Mungu walikuwa wanapigana na watu wa Mungu na kwa hivyo vita ikaenea na ika, ika wakati ambapo ilianza kufika ku, 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 climax then jo, uh, Ahab akamwambia um, Jehoshaphat ya kwamba nitaingia in the battlefield lakini nguo zangu za ufalme weze kuzivaa kwa sababu alikuwa Ahab alikuwa anajua kwamba ni ule ambayo anatafutwa ni, ni yeye ambayo alikuwa anatakiwa kuondolewa kwa leadership ya watu wa Israel. Nana inatuambia kwamba then the, the fight started. Now the king of Aram had ordered his chariots uh, commander do not fight with anyone small or bad except the king of Israel. One of the things ambayo nimekuja kugundua in my life and also in your life as a Christian ya kwamba once ukitoka kwa njia za Mungu una experience battle una experience, una experience vita inakuja kwa njia tofauti na Ahab instead aweza kusik Mungu instead aweza kutafuta how to confess and how to repent then agarafta namna vile atajaribu ku kuchas against And so vita wakati ilianza first that one inatuambia kwamba when the chariots commanders saw Jehoshaphat they thought this is the king of Israel so they turned to attack him to attack him Taka mwelewe hii text vizuri kwa sababu tunaambia kwamba na ya kwamba sasa mambo imegeuka tunaambiwa kwamba refactions later ilikuja kwake na akaingia aka in a very awkward situation because ali violate relationship yake na Mungu kwa kumsaidia mtu ambaye alikuwa evil Naambiwa kwamba hakufanya dhambi ingine yote lakini aliassist alisaidia mtu ambayo hakuwa kwa njia za Mungu. But in the midst of that Mungu alikuwa anaangalia hati ya Jehoshaphat because one of the things despite ya climax ya ile battle ambayo ilikuwa despite ya challenge ile ambayo ilikuwa despite ya difficulties zile ambazo zilikuwa the distinction between ya Jehoshaphat na Ahab Jehoshaphat are mtu wa kusheria odio wangai are mtu seeking God alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anajua kutafuta Mungu na mtu ambaye anajua kutafuta Mungu yes despite your weaknesses yes despite your failures yes despite your pain yes despite your difficulties but you are always safe you will never be disappointed kama uko mtu wa kutafuta uso wa Mungu na mnaona kwa hiyo narrative ya Jehoshaphat alikuwa mtu ambaye despite ya vile alikuwa so much can't We have not been told by the Bible ya kwamba kwa nini alikubali kufanguo za ufalme wa Israel ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Ahab. Lakini tunaambia kwamba wakati kwadhoka wakati ambapo kuliaribika then he cried to the Lord. 
anasifia sana then he cried to the lord wakati ambapo mambo ziliharibika wakati ambapo maisha ilimgeuka wakati ambapo aliona ya kwamba completely things are getting worse he cried to the lord and i think that is the point ambayo tuna miss tukiwa kanisa because as a church we are always having an instant alternative no matter how difficult seasons are going to be no matter how harsh the situation economically naweza kuwa no matter how difficult things can be wakati ambapo right now the whole community the whole nations the whole countries the whole world has been shaken by covid-19 we feel so unsafe and especially some of us ambao tunaishi kiambu town you can imagine the kind of life ambayo tuna tunaishi ambayo covid inapanda every single day in kiambu town and same applies how about like ukiona kwamba things are really getting as every single day like you don't know kama you are the next person ambayo utakuwa utavutwa kazini kwa sababu wanadua we with people every single day what what is the future like in a life ambayo watoto already hawaendi shule i guess that when i was moving around in the neighborhood nikakutana na teenagers wakikaa kando ya barabara and tukijaribu kuangalia completely they don't have any hope what is the future like kwa watoto what is the future like in a nation like this one and then in the midst of all that and men are audacity ya ku stay away from god and men na audacity ya ku stay away from the church and remember staying away from the church is staying away from god is staying away from god so how do you seek god wakati ambapo umekaa mbali na mungu tunambua ya kwamba in the middle of a battle jehoshaphat are na geto me ya ku stay away because the battle hii ambayo ilikuwa ime arise it was not intended kwake are na a reason enough ya ku stay away but we do, through weird reasons that kajikuta in the middle of a battle one of the things sometimes mnahitaji kuelewa nikimalizia because sitaki kukupitisha time ni kwamba mnahitaji kujua kwamba in the middle of the battle that is where our faith is sharpened that is where we we find justice that is where we find help not when you are seated in your comfortable couch not when you are seated so comfortable that you keep distance nyere kende mwana khoroma even if you keep distance even if you sanitize even if you wash your hands and then you stay away from god i'm telling you we are going to be in trouble you are going to be in trouble the most important thing is to attach the true despite the ill challenge because so much zile issues ambayo in arise every single day the only thing ambayo itakuja kukonga what we are experiencing is seeking god hakuna wakati ambapo mtasikia kwa hii kanisa nimesema kwamba tuishikane mikono love to one right hakuna wakati ambapo mtaona kwamba tukiemphasize mambo ya hugging right It is a matter of like keeping distance but also we want to direct our people to seek God. Because through seeking God ndio tutapata hope. Ndio tutapata direction. Ndio ndio tuta experience healing kwa zile hearts ambazo zimekuwa so broken. Families are breaking every single day. Stress in enter joy every single day. Watu wanaangaliana hivi and then alafu nasikia kwamba the next thing that will happen unakuwa kwa news ya kwamba mtu ameua mwingine So you don't even know who is next But the whole fight in the middle of that battle he was crying to God God is challenging us this morning that we cry unto him in a difficult season Na tunaambiwa kwamba in chapter 19 verses 1 when 
Wakari vita ilipita, um, you know, Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, returned safely to the, his palace in Jerusalem. Jehu the seer, the son of Anani, went out to meet him and said to the king, should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord? Because of this, the wrath of the Lord is upon you. But, in verse 3, and that is where I want to finish with, there is however some good in you, for you have read the land of Asherapoles and have set your heart in seeking God. And this is something that I keep on saying every single day. And I say, no mother, ni o pendo akachika mungu tu kiendele a kusimama mandi ni wambe. Simama sisi wata alafu ni wambe. In your workplace, in your business. In the midst of lack of hope, in the midst of difficulties, in the midst of uncertainty, we learn something from Jehoshaphat. There's something good in you. For you have freed the land of Asherah, Pauls, and have set your heart from seeking God. A clear indication since we started one hour with God, it is totally a decision. It is totally a step of faith. People can come in the morning when you have a reason to sleep. You still have that inside your heart. And that is why Tunampeo Kamba Jehoshaphat was the same, same kind of a person. He was a person who has set apart his heart to seek God. What we come on to our seeking guy. When you seek God, no matter the challenges about Octana Nazo, no matter the motto about Abitia, you'll never lose it. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this particular time. Thank you, God, for your love, for your mercy, for your care. Thank you, God, for your greatness and thank you, God, for everything that you are doing in our lives. I ask you, Jesus, that you bless each and every person in this building. That, that love, that passion. And I declare protection upon them and upon this community and upon every person. And life it can change so fast. So Mungu wepo maja na wao Mungu wasaidie Mungu walinde kwa magonjwa walinde kwa covid 19 walinde kwa stress walinde kwa discouragement walinde kwa heartbrokenness so oh God walinde kwa lack of hope na wasaidie Mungu na washikilie mikono wakati wanapoendelea kukutafuta You want to ask you Jesus that you bless wale ambao wanatuangalia online wale ambao Mungu wanaamka every single day wale wana support this ministry through offering through donations through tithe and any any other sort of support oh God i pray in the name of Jesus ya kwamba Mungu waonekanie katika jina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu amen thank you so much god bless you so much tutapewa a song and then i love to pay any offerings i love ni wapatia blessings Nitana kuoko dogami aweka ne guonyo ne bere maodo made ne magotira no we dogadira ne we Where 
Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Mwadi mwadi na yaga. Gugo shagai Gore kenete Meshiria makwa Me matheru Todo e wiki Wagere ire Jehovah gai Gotire tawe Eni weno e wiki Wagere ire Weno e wiki Goina merera, when no we wiki, mone ne waita, da kwa bararia, na da kugosha, na marore mero akoa, lori boraga, ohoro wa hinyana, ohoti waku, we ore goro, na ama odomode, kumono goshi. Nesha kupafa Heni weno we wiki Wagere ire Nama weno we wiki Kwa ina merera Weno we wiki Mone ne waita Da kwa bararia Na da kugosha Amen